Hey what is up guys, my name is Eric and in today's episode, I'm going to be teaching you how you can use pointers in C++ in order to get the specific location of where your variable is located inside your computer's memory. Let's do this. Now there are many uses with pointers besides just getting the address of where your variable is located. In fact, pointers can be used to help you create something called dynamic arrays, which we'll be covering in a later tutorial. Now to picture the concept of pointers, think of, let's say your friend invites you over to his place and you've never been to his place before. So obviously you need to have some way to go to his place. So you ask your friend, hey friend, where are you located anyways? So your friend will probably tell you his or her address, correct? Because your friend told you his or her address, you are now able to figure out where he or she is located at. So if you were to picture your friend's house as the variable and your friend him or herself as the value stored inside that variable, then that means the address basically gives you the information of where that variable is located. The same idea can be applied to computer programming with variables and all that stuff. So in computer programming for C++, in order to get the address value of a variable, you have to use the ampersand symbol. And then in order to store the memory address, which is the return value for that variable's location, you have to store it inside something called a pointer variable. So how do we create a pointer variable anyways? Well, the syntax is very simple and it is as follows. First off, you would give it the data type followed by an asterisk, which will represent a pointer and then a pointer variable name. So it's basically the same structure as declaring a variable except there is an extra asterisk character in front of the name. Okay, so with that in mind, let's create a quick and simple example, shall we? So let's say we have a variable called age, so int age, and then let's assign it a value actually, so equals 23. And then let's say we wanted to create a pointer variable that points to the location of where age is at. So to do that, we would have to create a pointer variable. Now, make sure the data type of your pointer variable is the same data type as the variables that you are planning to point to. So in this case, because we're going to point to the age variable, which is a type integer, we're going to have to create a pointer variable that has a data type of int. So int and then asterisk because we're creating a pointer variable and then give it a name. So let's call it age pointer, semicolon. So here I'll add some comments just for you to know. So let's say we want to grab the address of the age variable. So how do we do that anyways? So like I said before, we're going to have to use the ampersand symbol. And as I also said before, in order to store the memory address of the variable, we have to store it inside a pointer variable. So to do that, we have to first type in age pointer, which is the name of our pointer variable equals, and then the address of the age variable ampersand age and by adding an ampersand in front of the variable that you're going to be pointing to that will result in giving us the memory address value of age and then we can store it into the age pointer variable and then next if we were to see out this value what do you think we will get so see out age pointer without the asterisk and then let's compile and run this program I forgot to delete the syntax, so okay. So if we were to run this program again, it should work. And as you can see, our program shows 008 FFD48 as the output. And that jargon is basically a hexadecimal value, which is basically a number or basically a value that consists of 0 through 9 or A through F values, which basically make, makes up the hexadecimal number system. Okay, so what if we see out the age pointer variable, but this time we include the asterisk in front of it? What do you think will happen now? So let's try that. So actually, let's add some strings in front of it. No asterisk, and then with asterisk. Okay, and then if we were to compile and run this program, we should see two different results. Okay, as you can see, our first result, which has no asterisk, gives us the hexadecimal value of the memory address. But wait, what if we included the asterisk? It gives us the value of 23, which we can see is the value stored in our variable age, which is 23. So what this means is that if you don't include the asterisk inside of the pointer variable when you see out it, it will give you the memory address as the return value. Memory address value returned. However, if you include the asterisk, the actual value stored in the variable is returned. 
And that basically concludes our tutorial on how to create pointers in C++. If you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up button and leave a comment below if you have any questions at all and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Not only that, in the next tutorial, we will be taking a look at pointers again, but this time we will be using them to pass data by reference. And with that in mind, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.